welcome to airgunweb.com, your home for honest, real-world airgun reviews and information, where we bring you the facts, not fluff. Today we finally take a look at the Benjamin Marauder PCP pistol. You all know my fondness for the Marauder rifle, well I hate to say it, but I may like the pistol even more. Whether configured as a pistol or a carbine, this little air gun will simply amaze you. I want to thank PyramidAir.com for providing this product and the supplies for this review, and of course for sponsoring our channel. Without their support, I would not be able to bring you these videos, so please remember Pyramid Air when you're ready to make your next air gun purchase. So now, let's take a good close-up look at the Benjamin Marauder PCP pistol. Finally, we get to take a look at the Benjamin Marauder pistol. The pistol ships from Crossman with the skeleton stock so that you can decide if you want to use it as a pistol or a carbine. Depending on your preference, you will need to select the right optic for the job. As a pistol, the BSA 2X pistol scope and AccuShot rings worked very well for me. For this video, however, I've opted to set up my Marauder pistol as a carbine. The gun remains extremely light and maneuverable. The simple skeleton stock allows for excellent accuracy and also the ability to use a much wider range of optics. I've mounted a Leapers 4 to 16 by 50 AO MD IR scope to our gun as it really lets you squeeze every last drop of accuracy out of this product. I used Leapers two-piece high AccuShot rings for this setup. The Marauder pistol uses a bolt action to cock and load the gun. The auto-indexing 8-shot magazine can hold a variety of pellet weights, shapes, and sizes, and can even hold the Predator polymags. This is a design upgrade from the magazine used on the Marauder rifles. The Marauder pistol, like the rifle, has a fully shrouded barrel. The noise dampening effects on the pistol are not quite as good as the rifle, but they still help a lot reducing the rapport, to only about 98 dB in our inside tests. The fill port on the Marauder pistol is located under the barrel and is a standard Foster type connector. The Marauder pistol will take up to 3000 PSI, but I found that it operated best at between 2600 and 1500 PSI, yielding about 40 good shots. The trigger's pull weight is adjustable and can be easily tailored to your liking. I set mine to around 1 pound 11 ounces. This was light enough to help offset how light the pistol feels, but not too light as to be dangerous. It can be set even lighter, however, so proper use of the safety is very important. Whether configured as a pistol or a carbine, the Marauder pistol will impress you for both efficiency and accuracy. Let's talk about setting up the Marauder pistol. The first thing I want to say is that I've purchased this gun to add to my collection. So while this may be the first video we do, it certainly won't be the last. The Marauder pistol ships with both pistol grips and the Crossman skeleton stock. So once you decide how you want to configure your Marauder pistol, you just need to add the appropriate optic and you're all set. For this review, I've set up the Marauder pistol as a carbine with the skeleton stock and I added a Leapers 4 to 16 by 50 AO MD IR scope and a set of high AccuShot rings. The accuracy produced by this pistol is certainly worthy of this scope, but we're going to get to that a little bit later. Let's talk a little bit about charging the Marauder pistol. To shoot the Marauder pistol, you first need to charge it. Unlike its first and second cousins, the Marauder rifle and Discovery rifle, the Marauder is HPA only and it's not designed to run on CO2. You have a couple options for filling the Marauder pistol. One is a hand pump, and the second is a scuba tank. If you use a hand pump, you're going to need about two to two and a half pumps per shot to bring it back up to full charge. So, you know, worst case scenario, if you shoot 40 shots, you may be pumping about 100 strokes. Our test pistol performed best between 2500 and 1500 PSI. When filled to 3000 PSI, it took about two magazines to reach optimal velocity. So why waste the air? just top off to 2500 and then shoot to 1500 top off again. To fill the Marauder pistol you simply connect the fill hose to the quick disconnect fitting and charge the gun. Like I said earlier you can fill up to 3000 psi but it will take about 16 shots to get to that optimal pressure. So just top off to 25 or 2600 go ahead and save the air. Once you've topped off the gun you're ready to load it and start shooting. 
here's how you charge the gun. Just flip this over so I can go ahead and see the pressure gauge here. Now I'll go ahead and hook up my tank. Okay. Make sure my bleed valve is shut and slowly, use my other hand here, slowly open the tank. Okay, this fills very, very quickly, especially from this 4,500 PSI tank. So once I'm about where I want to be, I'm at 24. So, you know, I'm going to just give it a little bit more. Okay, I'm sitting right at about 2,600 PSI. So I know from about shot three or four, I'm going to be right where I need to be. Let's go ahead and bleed it off. Disconnect the tank. Replace our fill cap. Now the gun's ready to go ahead and load and shoot. Let's go ahead and talk about loading the Marauder pistol. The pistol uses an eight shot magazine and what's unique to the Marauder pistol's magazine is that unlike the rifle's magazine, it will take the Predator polymags without any modification. This is excellent news for you small game hunters out there. To load the magazine, you're going to rotate the clear section until it locks into place. Then you're going to block the hole in the back and insert a pellet into that first hole. Now as you rotate this back, it holds it into place and you can simply go ahead and fill in the rest of the holes with the additional pellets. Once you're full, you can close the clear part of the mag and go ahead and insert it back into the pistol. Now it tends to go in and out a little bit stiff, that's okay. Just make sure that you're level on the breech and it'll, it'll go in a little bit easier. Let's talk about shooting the Marauder pistol. Shooting the Marauder pistol is very straightforward. You simply pull back the bolt and then close it. The pistol has a manual safety which you will need to get in the habit of using. The trigger's pull weight is adjustable to be extremely light, so make sure you always engage the safety to prevent an accidental discharge. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how to operate the shooting cycle of the Marauder pistol. Close the bolt, aim the gun, release the safety, pull the trigger. Engage the safety, cycle the bolt, aim the gun, release the safety, fire the gun, engage the safety, cycle a bolt, aim the gun, release the safety, fire the gun. I really can't stress enough that when you're handling the Marauder or when you're shooting the Marauder that you always use the safety. Because the trigger can be set very, very light, it could be very easy to have an accidental discharge, so please be careful. I had the privilege of setting up a Marauder pistol that belongs to a buddy of mine a couple months back. So I already knew that there was really only one pellet that did the trick. I tried several others, but the Crossman Premiers in the cardboard box outshot them all. I shot two groups through the Crony using the Crossman Premiers, which are 14.3 grain. The first group was a full 40 shots, which is five magazines. I also started at a full 3,000 PSI, and I just shot those 40 shots. Here are the results I got with the 14.3 grain Crossman Premiers. I had a high of 647 feet per second, a low of 573 feet per second, an average of 619 feet per second, an extreme spread of 74 feet per second, and a standard deviation of 22 feet per second. The average energy was 12.19 foot-pounds. While that may look like a large spread, that's actually pretty darn consistent across a full 40 shots in a PCP air gun. Our first shot was 574 feet per second and our last shot was 573 feet per second with a very obvious power band which we're going to look at next. As I mentioned earlier, the optimal range for our Marauder pistol is about 2500 PSI down to 1500, maybe a little bit less PSI. This next group is a full two magazines dead center in that optimal range. 
Again, we're using the 14.3 grain Crossman Premiers. I had a high of 650 feet per second, a low of 635 feet per second, an average of 643 feet per second, an extreme spread of only 15 feet per second, the standard deviation of 5 feet per second. The average energy was 13.16 foot-pounds. I don't have a tremendous amount of experience with PCP air guns, but I'm learning. One thing I've noticed about the Marauder line versus other PCPs that I've tested is that Benjamin knows how to manage air. For accuracy, you need consistency, and you certainly have that with the Marauder pistol. Now let's get to the good part. Let's talk about accuracy. Accuracy was awesome. We started at 10 yards and the only challenge I had with the Marauder was trying to hold it still enough because it's very, very light. When someone comes out with a wood stock that has an integrated sling stud, please let me know. I want to have a bipod mounted on this in no time. Now when I say accurate, I mean extremely accurate. Our best group at 10 yards was only .042 inches center to center. At 20 yards, the groups were pretty good too at .258 inches center to center. For fun, we shot the Predator Polymags at 10 yards and got a respectable .215 inches center to center. Given that the premieres were just so accurate, and it was still pretty darn hot out here in Arizona, I just shot the premieres at 20 yards and the Polymags at 10. But like I said before, this won't be the last video we do with the Benjamin Marauder pistol. Let's take a look at these shock groups. Here's my scorecard for the Benjamin Marauder pistol. Let's go ahead and start with the cons. I really only have one con and maybe one suggestion. The con I have is with the fit and finish of the skeleton stock and the pistol grips. They need another screw in the handle. Both have vertical movement and it's really annoying on a gun that costs nearly 400 bucks. Now my suggestion would be that they move away from the 11 millimeter rail and incorporate a weaver rail rather. This would make adding dot sights much more practical. Now let's look at the pros. I really love this gun, period. The trigger is adjustable to the lightest touch. The amount of shots you get at full power still amazes me. The ability to set the Marauder up as a pistol or as a carbine with all the parts other than the optics already included is very nice. And most importantly, the accuracy is just awesome. So let's pull all this together with our final summary. Other than the annoyance with the poor fit and finish of the grips in the stock, there's nothing else that I can say poor about this gun. I'd gladly take this into the desert for small game hunting, and if I matched it with a small 4500 PSI carbon fiber fill bottle, I could easily get a full day of hunting. 
air management is exceptional, and so is the accuracy. I'd like to take a moment and thank the folks at Leapers for providing the scope and the mounts, and also Pyramid Air for sponsoring our channel and providing the pistol and supplies for this review. You can find all the products we used on their website at www.pyramidair.com. When you're looking for honest, real-world air gun reviews, think Air Gun Web, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. I'm Rick Usler with airgunweb.com. Thanks again for watching.